Hello and welcome to Lady Dynamite Creates. Today I will be doing a short walkthrough of a hooded cake that is fully lined. This pattern is available on my Etsy store so please check out the link in the description box below. This is my very first video so please leave me feedback on what I can improve on or things you would like to see in the future. The first thing we are doing is cutting out the pattern pieces from our main fabric. Make sure you align the pattern on the fold of the fabric where indicated. I prefer to trace the pattern with a special fabric pin that disappears when heat is applied, but if you want, you can pin the pattern directly to the fabric. Before I start cutting, I pin the two sides of the fabric together to keep it from shifting while I cut. I don't know about you, but I have a love-hate relationship with fur. It's super cute, but my workstation is always covered in fluff for days afterwards. I would suggest if you are using fur like I did, to take it outside and give it a good shake after you cut all your pieces. Don't forget to mark your dart on the cape base. Now repeat these steps for your lining fabric as well. that with sewing doll clothes that your seam allowance is so small that fraying often occurs and seams can easily pop so I recommend applying a light layer of fray check to the wrong sides of the fabric at the very edges. Be very careful to not apply too much though since it can seep through and cause discoloration on the fabric. Now on to the sewing. First we are going to pin those shoulder darts and iron the hem on the cape base. Since I am using a plush fabric, I don't want to sew the hem. It would trap the fur down, so I'm just going to glue this hem. If you applied fray check to the edge earlier, a little bit of heat to press the edge will activate the glue and it should stay down. Yup! I am using a flat iron on my ironing because I am lazy and hate getting the iron out. Do this for both main fabric and lining. Since the lining is not fur, I will be stitching the hem here. I like to hem my lining just a touch shorter than my main fabric to make sure it doesn't peek out from underneath. Using a straight stitch, sew the dart along the line and hem your lining. Now line up the back edges of the hood and stitch down with a straight stitch for both fabrics. With right sides together, line up the neckline of the hood to the neckline of the cape and straight stitch. There is a small amount of pleating here to match the sides together, so I would recommend lining up both center points and then the two outer edges first. Do this for both fabrics. And now it's actually starting to look like a cape, kind of. Take your two finished pieces and align them with the right side spacing. Pin along the edges matching your seams and straight stitch along the outer edge but not the hemmed bottom. Leave that open. Flip the right sides out and press. And back to the trusty flat iron. 
Now all that is left is to add any decorations you want and a closure. I chose a hook and loop closure. Here is a neat little trick for threading your needles. If you have a hard time like I do, lay the thread on your palm, keeping your palm very stretched and rub the eye of the needle back and forth and it pops right in. Also, if you need help knotting your thread, loop the bottom of the thread around the needle a couple of times and then pull it through and boom, the thread is knotted. I hope you all found this useful. Stay tuned until the end for some final photos and please like and subscribe to my channel for some more great things to come. Thanks!